Hello everyone, this is Chris Samba and uh, I'm going to show you guys the easiest way to draw lips. Alright, so uh, feel free to pause the video if you if I'm going too fast. Alright, so we're going to start off with an uh, eraser, an HB pencil, the lightest pencil ever, and a very dark pencil like a 6B, and the mechanical pencil 0 0.5 will do, and uh, a paper blender. Alright, so this is what we're going to draw the lips. Alright, so we need a, a mechanical pencil and we're just going to draw a line in the middle. And draw another line on the side. This is depending on how big you want your lips to be. So, this is how big I want my lips to be, these three lines that I drew. And then draw a triangle. And just kind of like get your shape of the lips, outside of the lips, the outline. And... That triangle kind of helps you out on a on a top on a curve, or what the top lip is, the, the top curve, and then uh, draw another line on the bottom. And now you're just gonna get the eraser and erase all the extra lines that you see. Every lines, make sure you get every lines. And please, uh, please uh, pause the video if I'm going too fast. And uh, now you're just gonna get the, the HB pencil, the lightest pencil, and you're just gonna kind of shade in on the corners of the top lip, and make sure you don't darken too 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 dark because you may want to erase it later on. And then also shade in the, the 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 bottom part of the lip. Just trying to get the shading in. As you can see in the picture, I'm trying to get the darker places first. Alright, so now you're going to get the paper blender, kind of light, um, smooth everything out. And don't forget, we're going to darken the, the, the lips later on. We're just kind of getting the the things right right now. So that's why we're not darkening. And um, so now you get the a mechanical pencil and draw the lines that you see on the lip, on the on the bottom of the lip. And do the same thing on the top. Uh, we're gonna get the, the HB pencil again and just kind of shade in on where the lines are a little bit. Not too dark, just you know enough. And pause the video if I'm going too fast because I am going fast a little bit. The video is kind of long, so that's why I'm kind of speeding it really fast. Uh, do the same thing on the top too, just shading the lines. Uh, yeah, that's it, and just a little bit more. Uh, Alright, so I'm um, getting a paper blender again and smoothing things out again, like what the lines are. I don't want to see just the lines, I want to smooth the lines out a little bit so they won't look like lines. They will look like uh, shading lines. And and now you're getting the 6B pencil and darkening kind of the lines and uh, the empty space that you see between the lines. Not too dark, just kind of smooth dark. And darken the top bottom of the lip with the lines off. And I know my explaining is not that good, so just kind of follow me on the video. It's 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 much easier, as you can see in the video. I'm 
trying to do step by step so you guys won't get confused and that will kind of help you guys and get a paper blender smooth the things out a little bit Yeah, the paper blender really helps a lot to smooth the things out. I said on uh, I said something on the last video that I did with the face. The the paper blender makes everything really realistic. Um, smooth things out much better. And uh, yeah, that's that's good. That's that's good. That's what you want to. If you're drawing a realistic uh, object or realistic uh, face, you need paper blender to help you out. And if you don't have paper blender, you can use a paper towel or toilet paper. You can fold it and then use it. The smooth thing that that things work as well. That one works as well. And um, yeah, just follow me on the video. Like you will, it will, it will be much easier. So right now I'm doing the shading, the the shadow. And of course, if you want something to be real, a shadow always helps. You know, shadow makes everything 3D. So that's, you know, 50% of the things that we draw, if if you if if you don't have a shadow on it, it's, it doesn't really look real. So this is what I'm doing right now. I'm doing the shadow, kind of just following the the picture that I see on the top. And and yes, just. Putting the final details with the mechanical pencil now, the lines, and trying to make the lips as realistic as possible. Drawing the lines, making the shadow smoother, and little by little, you see the picture is kind of is looking a little bit better. Uh, it looks a little bit more realistic. And that's what we aiming for. We want the picture to be very realistic. Um, so yeah, that's ju just right now. Just kind of uh, putting in the finishing touch, the details, the little things that counts. Um, and uh, yeah. All right, so uh, yeah, that's this is about it. This is this is a uh, this is all I have now. I'm done with the lips. So uh, my, like I said, my speaking is not that good, but I do a really good job actually uh, doing the drawing step by step, and you guys can see by yourself. You know how I started with the triangle and three lines and line in the middle. That really helps a lot. Even though my my speaking didn't help that much, but the drawing.